You mean to tell me that I can now play two human without an Xbox Live subscription? Fucking A, man. Uh, welcome. Welcome to my video where... Uh, I'm an Nexus 17. And, um... Yeah, no, welcome to my video. Um, I'm just going to be hanging around for a bit, taking care of some championship homework. And, yeah, welcome back if you're a repeat offender. Uh, before I get started, though, please check the description below for a link that sends you to a webpage that has a bunch of other links to places where you can donate to and sign petitions for on behalf of... For Black Lives Matter causes, not on behalf of for Black Lives Matter causes, um, it would do a lot for, and you can find something local in your neighborhood to, you know, help socially and infrastructurally, you know. Derek Chauvin can rot in hell. That's all I gotta say. Uh, and you know, just a just a reminder that you gotta vote next year, or there might be some voting this year. I'm not sure to be exact, but uh, there's another link in there to register to vote. So, yeah, take care of that. Be the change in this world, damn it. Let's do it. Alright. We've got Winter Forza Thon. Forza. Bleh. We've got the Winter Playlist. And. Yeah, we've got Track Toys at S900 Street. And, bef and before. Yeah, before before I get started along with like all these categories and whatnot, I mean this is uh, high rollers, meaning that your vehicle has to cost two million credits and upwards. And then we've got where are you? Hoonigans at nine hundred rally. This is road race. Keep in mind that you only need to beat these at um, highly skilled. I'm gonna be playing on unbeatable. So this video might take a minute. Keep in mind also that there's the trial co-op challenge. It is extreme off-road. Doing off-road challenges, cross-country challenges. That video is already up. I, as you can see, I already done it. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're going to start with S998 high rollers in road races. Also keep in mind that for the PvP playlist... Playground games, it's off roads at 8800. Keep in mind, you do not have to win these. You just come in, have to, you just got to stay in for the match and you'll, they'll count it towards the progress of the playlist. And a reminder to do the PvP adventure racing and the monthly rival. These count towards your overall score. This, see, it's at 62, 20. I mean, I barely touched the winter championship winter playlist. I'm at 28%. I have not touched the spring playlist at all, but these two count towards it and they're 12 uh, they're about 10% each, so get to it. Oh man. This week's weekly fortsathon is with the Mercedes-Benz 190E. I forget the Actual name, it's up at the top there. 1990 Mercedes-Benz 190E 2.5 to 16 Evolution 2. Easy to remember. But yeah. Let's... Let's get to it. So, even though it's freezing out there, we've still got loads of people braving the weather to watch this seasonal. I don't suppose that has anything to do with you, does it? It is going to be a little rough on two fronts. One, the buy-in. There are a lot of vehicles here that, um, yeah, they're kind of tough to drive in. I would suggest, if you can, get the Sesto Elemento and that about does it. Yeah, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. But I'm going to be driving Centenario because, well... Because most likely, you probably have it already if you've done the previous challenges or last week and the week before. There were pretty good chances to get the Lamborghini uh, Centenario, so I'm going to go off of that. And also, let me give you a quick rundown of my difficulty settings. Yes, I got ABS normal. I got normal steering because I am playing off an Xbox One Elite Series 2 control controller 
with the paddles in the P1 and P3 position, you can see I'm doing manual clutch. So it's P1 to shift up, P3 to downshift, A for clutch. I'm probably going to have to restart on this one a couple of times. I don't know how I did that one. So it is winter, so... You may think that you want the snow tires, but you do not. You want the regular road tires, but you got to be a little smart on the braking. Got to be a little patient in the braking because you'll see in a couple of races up ahead that There's going to be a patch of road that's smothered in snow. Well, we got some Herman Tilka ass turn right here. Can't necessarily go flat out on it because it's not banked like a NASCAR oval track. And one of the vehicles I'm battling right now is a Bugatti Chiron or a Veyron. I forgot which one. I forget which one is the orange one that... Which one is... Comes in stuck with the orange painting. Needless, needless to say, it is one of the fastest hypercars in the game. It is also one of the worst braking vehicles in the game. So, take advantage of that realize that or remember that the turns where you feel like you can make it the bugattis will not they're just not they ju they're just very heavy vehicles i mean the centenario is heavy as well but I don't know. okay here we go here we go here we go fantasy Fantasy Star Online 2. Uh, there's another one. Yeah, sorry. Uh, news just came out that you don't need an Xbox Live Gold status to play some free-to-play games. So that includes stuff like Warframe, uh, Star Trek Online, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Destiny 2. All right, here we go. Here's this snowy patch. Uh, it's hard to turn for me, so. And this turn is tricky. You always, you always think that there's a better momentum off of that corner, but there's not. You're just not going to have the room to turn. Oh, boy. I don't know what I'm focusing on right now. I'm focusing on the map up ahead because I want to see how those vehicles are doing. It looks like there's nothing but hypercars up ahead, so yeah, they're they're in for a rough one. And there's the two Bugattis as well. And I don't know what that green vehicle is. I think it's the Porsche. Here we go. Okay, braking is going to be a nightmare for the vehicles up ahead. Oh boy. See, here you go. Here you go. Okay. Just 
just got to be patient with these winter tracks. Oh boy. That was bad. Might have to restart this one. Ah, that's a bummer. Might have to restart this one. The Bugatti might have a bad turn up ahead, but let's see what we got. Nah, it's not going to happen. Well, what do we learn? Don't turn that corner. Don't turn into that corner very, uh, very all sharp like. And keep in mind that you are going up against, you know, if, if it's hard for you, keep in mind that you're only going up against AI. You could do these in co-op as well. And, and try and finish him that way. Have a buddy help you out, but don't be a jerk. Don't use your teammates as, as a leverage for the turn, I guess. Keep in mind that the two cars up ahead are very tired, or not very tired, they're uh, very bad with cornering, so, or breaking and cornering, you know, so, take advantage of it. Sorry if I'm being quiet right now. It's, uh, as you might understand, it is competitive mode right now for me. Keep in mind, do not take that apex too sharp again. have to do this one again. Yep. One more time. Hey, we're doing the hardest one first, so... Had a better start there. All right, well, what do we learn? Shift to higher gears at the start. Much earlier. That way you get better grip off of the exit at the start.
And let's see. Oh, already screwing up. Already screwing up. So am I. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is more like it. There we go. Now you're in the lead. Just be patient with your own pace. Keep in mind that this is a very uh, narrow part of the road. And these vehicles are pretty big, so you know, don't rush it. There we go, there we go. That's more like it. That was rough, that was no joke. But uh, we got there, oh, rec room. Oh. Interesting. All right, one more to go. And we're still having trouble. Just, uh, I don't know, just lower the difficulty and just practice. Practice makes perfect, so it's totally fine. If you don't get today, you got a whole seven days to get it over with, you know? So practice and work your way up to difficulty, and you should be good. And keep in mind, also, I'm doing this on, highly, on unbeatable. Excuse me. Um... So, much more trickier start. But what you do not want to happen is, um, what you want to prevent is them getting down the straight here without them in sight. If they're not in sight, then they're most likely gone. Keep in mind that even the AI at Unbeatable can sometimes be clumsy with the brakes. Wow, there's three Bugattis in the front. Who knew? Oh boy. Okay. See? Vehicles are a little chunky, so... Alright, here comes the chase. And you don't have to get into first place as soon as possible. All you got to do is just keep patient. Like, overtake at the at this last turn if you have to. Don't be, don't be impatient. I know I'm revving the engine right there, but don't be impatient. You are going at very stupid speeds. I don't get the physics behind getting at the top gear and 
having more grip in the snow. But it seems to work for me. And hopefully it works for you for a very easy championship win. And that's that for this one. Next, we've got, it's a toss up to be honest. If you're good at road races or street stuff, then this will probably be the easiest, but hmm. if you're not too savvy with rally, then this might be a tough one. Let's, let's try this one first. Oh boy. You ready to take on this winter championship? What am I saying? Of course you are. Okay, we're gonna take the where is it? Jim Kana ten Ford Escort Cosworth Group A, nineteen ninety one. <laughs> Phantom Dust. Well, I'm, I'm looking at a uh, GameSpot list of free to play games that no longer need xbox live this is written by gabe gerwin yeah just check out more of that list there it's nuts what a world all right just to set the table here is that s900 Doing rally. I'm just gonna say it. You should bring a rally monster for this. Oh boy, that was rough. And no tires are required. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. Snow tires. Mandatory. Could pull something out with a uh, with a vehicle that has sports tires, but it'll be a little rough. It'll be a little rough uh, getting grips, getting to grips, no pun intended, with the snow here. Oh, boy. Uh, that was more style than it is function. That was pretty bad. Um, the top speed in this is pretty nuts for rally. Oh boy. And it goes up to 7th gear as well, so. Uh, be, uh, be mindful of that. Be mindful of it. And we get to the street part, so yeah, might be just a little rough. Oh boy. Yeah, it goes up to 7th gear? Yeah, it goes up to 7th gear. That's nuts. Never seen a... A rally monster go up to 7th gear. Okay. 
All right. That's one. Oh, this is a long one. Oh, we're in it. We're in it. Yeah, I want to say these are the sports tires. Wow, okay. I think I forgot to <laughs> upgrade that, but who cares? It's totally fine. This is workable. Yeah, try to avoid drifting. Just gonna lose a lot of time. That's that's for the PR stuff. Oh boy. Never count on drifting to help you with the corner. It's not that feasible. Or it's pretty feasible, it's just that it's not that uh practical. Look at that. You know, sometimes the AI upgrades. But sometimes they upgrade to get to the rating that you're at. Which means that sometimes the rally tires will bring it up to, let's just say, 890. And then race tires would bump it up to 900. So, it's weird how the AI does the math sometimes. Sometimes it would just add the, the race tire just to get that higher rating. But if you bring rally tires, snow tires for this event... Should be good. Oh boy. should be it for this chapter. And we got one more to go. I really hope it's not the one I think it is because we're going to be in here for a while. Yes, it is. Boy. Okay. Sit back, relax. Damn. All right, well. What's been going on this week? I promised I would play don't... Or... I promised I was going to be playing say... No! More. But, uh... Nah, I just got very lazy this weekend. watched Endgame for the first time. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm not a huge Marvel movie fan. It's just that, uh... I mean, I love the action. Don't get me wrong. I like this. I love the spectacle. I love the theater, but yeah, just not a big Marvel movie fan and Managed to watch Endgame for the first time. I would say that I should have watched that in theaters. Not in the sense that like, oh, you should have been there for the hype and stuff. Like, no, 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 no. It's, it's not that. I mean, I should have I watched it early. 
because it was a little hard getting through that movie and not think of the memes. I don't know. Oh boy. Yeah, it was pretty hard. Like stuff that you want to take serious. You know, the whole like, um, you took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. Like that, you know, you. That's a tragic scene. Like it's. It's a bummer. But, yeah, it's just a. It's just a meme now. Um. I think what was crazy about that movie for me was the time between um, I mean spoilers for a movie that was once the highest grossing movie of all time or yeah highest grossing movie of all time and now it belongs to James Cameron's Avatar um, That movie has been memed to this so far in that I could probably map all the pieces together and tell you this is how the movie goes. The only gap, and I didn't even know there was a gap. I didn't even know there was barely a gap, is the part between, and spoilers for Endgame, once the highest grossing movie of all time until James Cameron's Avatar, was the part between... Hulk activating the Infinity Stones and the invasion. I thought that was just an entire planet. I thought they went off world again just to take care of the 2014 Thanos. But they're just right after each other. Like, there's the Hulk snap and then invasion. Almost instantaneously. And I thought that was nuts. Like, oh, wow, we're in it already. Because my head would look at the memes and be like, okay, well, there's just... There's all of this going on. There's this, 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 and this. In this order. But... And... Nothing... In those memes... Nothing in the memes that came out... With the movie... Gave me any idea of what happened between the snap and the invasion. Tw the, yeah, the time invasion. So, that was particularly shocking to me. So, yeah, that's my story. I don't know. It was, it was uh, that's a fun little thing. And that's that for this chapter. I don't know. I got a lot of movies to watch now. <laughs> um, hmm. I have been keeping up with Falcon and Winter Soldier, though. I think that was the reason why... I started watching in game was because I needed I just I just needed to get the context of the passing of the shield I guess I know it happens you know they're pretty open about it in Falcon and Winter Soldier did I call it the Captain Falcon the Winter Soldier no I'll check back in the recording but oh, by the way we got one more race to go one more championship to go um yeah. That show's been all right. Even though it's freezing out there, I'm pretty sure you'll have a lot of fun with this seasonal. Just make sure you wrap up warm. Okay, going to bring out a There you go. So 
a kind of a cheap little car, but not cheap in the sense that it doesn't perform well, but cheap in the sense that it's easy to buy. So yeah, Falcon Winter Soldier's been alright. It's, uh... It was kind of okay to begin with. Then you got a little, uh... By the second, third episode. And then... Fourth episode and beyond has been pretty alright. I want to say this is a very old build because it's got spoilers spoilers but um yeah boy your brakes like crazy And the rear seems pretty planted. But yeah, um... I hope that sixth episode is alright. Oh boy. I can kind of feel what's about to happen and... Uh... I mean, I saw the end of WandaVision and... I don't know, it's just one of those things like... Not everything needs a final battle, I guess. Um, not to sound like a DC fanboy, because I'm not. I'm not a fanboy of like comics or anything like that. I just saw a lot of the Spider-Man animated series and Batman the animated series, and thought, "Hey, a Spider and Bat, these are fucking cool," you know, as a kid. But to quote. You know, Dark Knight. What, you think I was going to lose it all in a fist fight? In a battle to the end with you? Like, nah. <laughs> uh. And I would like to have a show end like that. Where all the, all the shit, all, all of the crazy fighting stuff happens in the fifth, in the second to last episode. And then... The repercussions, the politics, all come crashing to a to a head with the with the next episode, with the final episode. But yeah, I mean, I could tell you what show does that, but I'm gonna sound like a broken record. All I'm gonna say is, you better watch The Wire. But yeah, ah, The Wire. I want a reason to watch that shit again. Uh, what's up with the street scene stuff? Well, with this vehicle, got high grip. Like, well, I don't make up with tires. I can at or speed. I can make up with the spoilers and yeah, just uh. It's not a very fast car, but it can sure find exits real fast. Oh boy. No, you don't. No, you don't. Alright, cool. Yeah, this car is a little easy mode, but I went back to, because I'm still suffering from having my, my last save file, what, one of the things that I'm able to recover are my old tunings, and I saw the tuning for this one, I saw the price for this vehicle, I was like, hey, you know, I think I tried this, I think I tried this before, didn't I? 
and then saw that I had a tune for it and said, hey, S900 Road. I'm like, okay, cool. And then I applied it. And here I am realizing that this thing has spoilers. That's nuts. I don't remember doing that. Or, yeah, I don't remember doing this at all, so this probably was a while back. that oh boy okay last one What a jerk. Don't do that for your co-op buddies, man. Just just don't. Uh, you want to accumulate points. Don't do that. Oh, boy. Okay, well... What else do I have... to watch or to think about, to listen, to... Ah, to listen. You know what? I've never... So... There are some albums that... I, and I'm, a, I'm an album listener. I'm not a... Uh, oh, boy. I'm not a singles listener. But definitely as a kid, I fucking drowned in singles. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that sounds bad. Um, no, I, I, it's just a... I would listen to a lot of singles, and, and now that I'm older, you know, artist intent is a very important thing to me, and so... Yeah, I never listened to In Utero by Nirvana, which has a ton of very important songs that I've listened to already as singles. It's just that I don't know the context in which they show up as you know, in the album. And that's very important. I don't know if all apologies is at the start. I don't know if all apologies is at the end. So I'm going to be listening to that in the coming days. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, boy. Yeah, and I don't know. I'm not gonna do an album review here for my next video, but definitely something that I can keep in mind of. It is um, it's a band that's uh, has certainly shaped the w shaped the way I think about sound. So, got to do that. Alrighty then, that's that. Keep in mind, right there it says on the right, place first against highly skilled Gyrotars, not against unbeatable, so. You got this. And that Conic Sig you get is one of the best extreme track toys, but it absolutely does not cost what you'd want it to cost in order to do the 998 high roller challenge as you can see here where is it there you go yeah it's only 250,000 so what they're asking for is something like these two cars right here oh boy that's rough but anyways thanks again for stopping by thank you if this is your first time here. 
and you know like I asked before uh, check the description below for that link that will send you to a page that has a bunch of other links to places where you can donate and sign petition for Black Lives Matter uh, it helps you can find something local in your area and help yourself infrastructurally and socially help your you know, help your brothers and sisters out help everybody out in the neighborhood by contributing in one way or another and keep in mind to register to vote to help throw those people who don't want to contribute just want to hog all that shit up palpatine style um out of office office we don't need that shit we don't we don't need motherfuckers who are going to be lazy on fixing uh you know pipelines for clean water so that they force you to go out to buy a bunch of bottles that Nestle filled up with their just basic as water. So yeah, do that. And until then, please find a way to please get your shot. I know people in my circle that are a little anti vaxy but even then, this is enough to freak them the hell out. So. Yeah, get to it. Um, wear a mask. Keep wearing a mask even if you got your shot. Um, let's see. Use sanitize, hand sanitizer when you can. Order food for delivery if you can. Um, only go out for food or groceries when you need to. Don't just go out and you know, spend a lot of time breathing on people who... Are probably out there working because you know, those uh those checks aren't rolling out so people got to make ends meet one way or another and breathing around someone who could get them potentially sick you know no one asks to be a hero out here so yeah please take the time and think about others as you go out and take care peace